All right, part four. So we basically, we were um, hanging out at the park and while we did um, walk around a little bit at a park in Brooklyn, um, what happened? Oh yeah, so these, this, a gay couple walked past us, they were holding hands, and you guys, this was him when he saw the gay couple. Literally, he just, it's like he forgot about me, he forgot about where he was, it's like his 100% focus, was on that gay couple and at that point I was like you know what I think my suspicions are right like and granted that's not that's actually not why we stopped hanging out um we actually I don't know we actually stopped hanging out because I didn't want to have sex with him anymore because I you know obviously over time I ended up sleep we ended up like being intimate or whatever so um but that day, the last day I saw him, I told him that like I didn't want to have sex anymore. And then um, at that point, he basically stopped talking to me. So um, yeah, it's unfortunate, but clearly he was just like, I'll be real with you. It, I don't know what it was. I'm not, I'm not trying to say, he, I know the, uh, the title is a little clickbaity because we didn't actually have a title, um, but we were dating and just seeing where things went, you know. I don't know what he, I, I, I guess I guess all he wanted was sex, who knows, right? Most guys only want that, but not all. But um, what's really creepy is yesterday, after I recorded part two, I kid you not, I thought I saw him. Because when I got off the train, um, walked out the exit was headed to the library i saw this guy that looked just like him like literally i'll be real with you like i'm 90 percent sure it wasn't him but like 10 percent of me feels like it might have been him i i don't know i know that's kind of crazy because it's like what would he be doing in connecticut but it really creeped me out to be honest it kind of like shook me up a little bit because i didn't even look at him like when i got off the train immediately i was like is that him like and i'm not okay it, it feels like i'm telling stories but mind you i haven't seen this guy in almost a year um i started recording this video a couple days ago because i don't know it's just i think i think about him sometimes so i just kind of want to share my story but um, yeah, it was really crazy. So this guy who was just, just like him was waiting at his car and it was just so obvious he was waiting for like a girl. So like a girl came down the stairs um, and she had like, she had brown skin, curly hair. I'll be real with you. The guy, he looked a little taller than the one I know, like than, than, the, my, than my ex friend, I guess you can say. But I'll be real anything is possible it could have been him i doubt it but you never know but yeah um and to anyone out there like if you do suspect that your boyfriend's gay like um or are like into men and women like honestly i would just say like if you're cool with that cool like don't like mistreat people because we do all have the right to live the way we want to live but just keep always use protection like even if he was straight you'd have to use protection just protect yourself don't be judgmental um and yeah yeah i love i love vlogging but um that's my story um it, it you know to this day like i still don't even know if he's like gay bi straight i don't know and it's not even my business at this point but um i would say like during the time we hung out, like, I always felt like he was hiding something. Like, I don't even, I could just tell that he wasn't giving me, like, 100% of him. Like, I could tell that, I don't know, it was like, it was just weird. It's like, it's like he would give me, like, 80% of him, but not 100. Like, it just seemed like his mind was somewhere else sometimes, and I don't know. It just became obvious to me that 
he was trying to appear to be present but kind of wasn't so he had a traumatic um you know he had some trauma happen in his life so i'm sure that didn't hurt but um yeah yeah um but anyways i hope you enjoy this video took something out of it i don't know i just wanted to kind of get this off my chest sorry for all the parts my um phone's memory is not so great um but yeah anyways i mentioned the book earlier but if you are watching this you are entitled to my free audiobook you get a free copy of my audiobook i'm addicted to asian guys <laughs> i love yelling this out in public but um yeah so check it out in the um, comment section below and in the des description box check out i'm addicted to asian guys online interracial ambw dating love stories it's a it's a mouthful um yeah it's free might as well it's a very juicy uh very juicy uh book and you can listen to it for free so might as well who doesn't like free right anyways if you ever dated a gay guy or bi guy or whatever let me know in the comment section below and i hope you have a great day bye